Tilly Olsen and it's Milsa Mesh and I am back again in the food and home kitchen. Well, not the literal kitchen, but we are visiting a very special lady today. Her name is Zandi, also known as Miss Hush in my kitchen. And I need you guys to come with me so that we can see what she will be doing to spoil her mom on Mother's Day. Come with me. Everyone, my name is Zandi, better known as Miss Hush in my kitchen. I'm a content creator who's also a qualified chartered accountant. I'm a foodie, I'm a recipe developer, and I like to call myself a masterclass expert. So today we are making a delicious Mother's Day grazing board, which I'll be making this Sunday for Mother's Day. So before we get started, first things first, you need to decide on your serveware, right? You may want to go with the wooden board and I'm going to use this huge round plate for our grazing board, which I'll then place some small bowls for our sauces, our delicious bacon jam, which I'll show you how to make. You can add on your gherkins, literally anything that you want to snack on. It's up to you. First things first, we are marinating our olives. This is just to elevate your olives and we are going to be mixing ours with some olive oil and we're going to chop some parsley as well as some rosemary and you have your delicious flavored olives. What inspires my cooking? It's my love for hosting people. I love creating happy bellies. I go out a lot and I love exploring. And my intention is to come back home and recreate those dishes with a hash in my kitchen twist. So I started cooking from a very young age, probably about 10 years, or well, 10 years old at the time. And um, the very first dish I learned how to cook was umpogoko, which is basically crumbly puff. And you serve that with um, amasi, which is basically sour milk. That is my favorite dish, and that's when I actually discovered my love for cooking, because that's not the easiest recipe to start out when you don't know how to cook. And I've been cooking since then, and I've been loving my journey from my young age of 10. So ever since I started cooking, I've learned that you need to be creative in the kitchen. Don't be afraid to try out new recipes. Don't be afraid to tweak recipes. Because remember, any recipe is literally just guidance. So play around with some recipes, have fun, experiment, and you'll be amazed with what you come up with. Fun, 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 all the way, yeah. <laughs> Our sugar. To finish it off, you can add a pinch of salt and pepper. And how amazing does that look? Adding on some delicious chicken sausages to my grazing board. When it comes to hosting, you need to literally add anything on your grazing board that you enjoy. So the trick about chicken sausages, you need to add on some sauce. So I'm adding a steakhouse sauce. This gives it some more flavor. Let's be honest, chicken sausages tend to be a bit of, they like seasoning a bit. So this is the trick. Okay, okay, okay. This is my favorite for any grazing board. This is the salamis. I am making salami roses, which are pretty simple to make. And you basically need to lay out your salami slices on a champagne glass. And what you want to do is you need the slices to overlap and you rotate your glass as you hang each salami slice. Once you're done, all you have to do is place your glass like that 
and there you have an amazing salami rose that you can basically add on to any grazing board so we add in some bread sticks which we want to wrap with some parma ham quick wrap around nothing fancy but absolutely delicious what's a grazing board without some cheese so we've got some white cheddar and some camembert cheese with our white cheddar you can dice it have it into blocks or you can literally cut it into slices from here onward you can cut it into um, blocks but i want to cut it diagonally just like that it will look absolutely pretty on your board how amazing does this look the most common question i get in all of my master classes is when is the next master class no i'm joking besides that <laughs> i'm always asked how come we never use your barbecue spice your chicken spice and all of these fancy spices that we have in our pantry and the simple answer is don't over complicate your cooking keep it simple and the flavors will come out you'll enjoy every dish if you keep it simple when we plate the starting point is all the balls need to go on first and then next up you need to have your roses wherever you want to place them keep in mind you need a good balance so i'll put one rose on one side and another rose on the other side How amazing is our grazing board? Mom will be impressed. Enjoy. Miss Hodge, this looks absolutely stunning. I I don't even want to touch this actually. It's too beautiful to touch, and I think everybody should just try this for their moms because moms are so pretty and beautiful, they deserve this beauty here. But anyways, thank you so much for having us here. We absolutely enjoyed learning how to make a grazing board. And yeah, we just want to know from you, is there anything we can expect next from Miss Hush in my kitchen, the master classes? So Tilly, it could be anything really. I've built my foundation. It could be a studio. It could be a cookbook. It could be a culinary institution. I'm literally ready for anything. Okay, thank you so much, Sandy, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for coming, Tilly. Please do.